Welcome back to the podcast, everybody. We got the new mic stand. Uh, I'm really excited for this, actually. The old mic stand was terrible. Again, really flimsy, but also it just looked really ugly. I didn't like the karaoke look of it. And again, I had some people suggest um, that I get something like this. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for pushing me into getting this because I'm really excited that I did. Uh, it's got cool features. Unlike the other karaoke mic stand, this one can move all around. So if I want to do like maybe a live action podcast, I can run around, fuck around, and move this thing with me. So I'm really excited for this. Um, as you guys may be able to tell, my face is a little bit red in some spots. Um, I did get a hydrofacial, and that's actually going to be what today's topic is. Now, I know that men's skincare is not really... It's not really talked about too much. It's kind of on the down low. And on top of that, it's not something that it's not something that guys are really into, I would, I'd say. I think that it's very important, but I think that it's neglected by almost all men. And for as someone who had good skin for a while, then once I started going through puberty, things got a little haywire. Um, again, that, help, that happens to most people. But for me, it seemed pretty prevalent and a lot... Um, seemed like it was affecting me more than most and um and so that's why I kind of took a a liking to it now there's a guy that I do personal training for online and again guys I want to let you guys know again I'm going to be releasing a program in about three months or so still working on it Um, I'll let you guys know more about that later but this guy that I'm that I took in already uh, I'm doing some personal stuff with him and and Again, with the lifting, nutrition, lifestyle management, and on top of that, his skin wasn't so great, and that was perfect for me. I was really excited to hear that, not because his skin was terrible. That, that didn't make me excited, but knowing that I can help him, um, it's something that I'm knowledgeable in because it was something that I went through. It was something that I, it was trial and error for. You know, I had to go through the same thing, and so I'm, I'm, I was really happy to help uh, this guy. So again, with skincare, what a lot of guys do is you know, shampoo, shampoo your hair, and then use the same body soap for your face. Now that is a terrible idea. The same way that programs are, athletic programs are specifically designed for each athlete. It's the same thing for skincare. Not every person's the same. And on top of that, with your skin, your arm skin is different than the fa- this, your facial skin. Your facial skin is a lot more delicate. And now when men use body wash on their face and it's not supposed to be used for your face, again, that can cause problems. So for me, what I can do to help people out and what, what I tell people is there's multiple things that could be problematic with your skin or why your skin could be getting worse. Caffeine could be a proponent. Uh, too much fluoride can be a proponent. Not washing your pillowcases. This is one thing. Again, it comes down to hygiene. For the most part, skin's not always hygiene. Sometimes when you're washing your face every second of every day, that's actually going to be more problematic for your skin. Uh, Again, the guy that I took on, I'm not going to say his name, but he was washing his face very, very often because he told me he had oily skin. And I told him, I said, what are you washing your face with? And he just goes, water. And I said, okay, how often are you washing it? And he told me about 10 to 15 times. Whenever it got oily, that's what he told me. And that was a problem. So when you wash your face often your face is going to naturally produce what's called sebum. And sebum is the oil that coats your face that moisturizes you. So it's almost like a self-moisturizer. Now, with increased production of sebum, that's where you can get a lot more breakouts. Now, even if you have dry skin, you're still prone to breakouts. But this sebum makes it even more problematic. And so I told him, I said, man, you got to stop washing your face so much. And on top of that, you have to get a real cleanser. You can't just be washing your water with face. Your, your, your water with face. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I am delirious today. I had my caffeine earlier and I'm still delirious. You cannot be washing your face with water. You have to be using a cleanser for best. I mean, some people can use water, but it's not, it's not the best thing you can do. Cleansers are used to penetrate deep, get the dust, the dirt, the oil, everything off your face. And water doesn't do that. So I told them you need to buy a cleanser. You need to stop washing your face so much. And again, from these things, he saw huge differences. When when you stop washing your face so much, your oil production will go down because your face isn't 
it's not it's like when you're washing your face too much your face kind of comes into a it feels almost like attacked by external forces which would be the water and you washing constantly so it feels like it has to increase production of this sebum which is the oil now for me personally and this is what i think the best overall i think this is the best skincare regimen you wake up you cleanse you tone and then you use a moisturizer with an SPF. At night, you're going to cleanse twice. You can use a toner again at night. It just depends how dirty it was. Again, you can also use, you can also cleanse once at night. It just depends how dirty you are. Uh, if you're super dirty, I would cleanse twice. Tone, moisturizer. If you're not that dirty, maybe just cleanse once and then moisturizer. Moisturizer should be used constantly. So I'd say after you wash your face during the day and after you wash your face during the night. You should be washing your face about two times a day. Unless you really didn't do anything during the day, I guess you can get away with it, but I still would be washing it probably twice a day. And again, back on this hygiene thing. If hygiene is a problem, you're probably not washing your pillowcases, not washing your sheets. Um, sometimes water, water has some impurities in it, especially uh, unpurified bath water, uh, shower water. So if you get a, uh, what would you get? A filter for your shower that could be useful for you. Getting milk out of my diet is one thing. Milk, processed sugars, processed carbs, those things can be really, really problematic. Not just for your face, but your body overall. Um, he didn't. I, the guy that I was trained didn't really have any body acne, and neither did I. So I've never really dealt with that too much. But again, if you if you feel like you're getting body acne, then you, you, they most likely come in combination. If you have face acne, you're usually going to have body acne. And then if you don't have either, if you don't have one, then you probably won't have the other one. But for me, I just had facial acne. Um, and again, I'm still young. So, of course, I, I still get breakouts every once in a while. But because of my regimen, because of my routines, uh, I've lessened it infinitely. And this is what I want people to do. And again, people, again, most guys aren't using an SPF during the day. Now that is terrible. So when sun gets in your skin, you, you like you need sun because it, it creates vitamin D. But on your face, it just destroys your skin. It makes your skin increase wrinkles. And on top of that, you need to be using a, a moisturizer with the SPF. They need to come in tandem, especially at, during the day. If you're going to be out in the sun a lot, you need an SPF because it's going to protect your facial skin. And again, back to being back to talking about how sensitive your face can get um when you're using exfoliants i know some people that use ex exfoliants and you're not going to be wanting to use them often maybe two or three times a week uh, i wouldn't use a physical exfoliant so i wouldn't use like sometimes they use walnut shells or beads or um, they have some rubber kind of exfoliators that you can scrub on your face if you're going to use those, I'd be very, very gentle because they can usually do more damage than good, especially guys. Like for me, I used to use a, um, a rubber physical exfoliant and I would just scrub my face because I thought that was the best thing for me. But little did I know that was incorrect. I would actually stick to chemical exfoliants. So salicylic acid and then um, there's chemical peels you can use. Again, use them at your own precautions because they can be problematic. But if they do work for you, they're going to work well. Now, the physical ones aren't going to work as well unless you're really, really gentle. And even then, they're just, they can create micro tears and then cause in an increase in um, wrinkles. And that can be problematic. And so these are just things we need to think about. You want, obviously, beauty is a big part of life. You want to be beautiful. You want to look your best. And to look your best, you need to develop these routines. So I really, really suggest to all guys out there, and this is something I wish I knew earlier, and I'm still young, so I'm glad I caught it now. But having a routine, not just for your face, but overall in life, you need to get the routines down so then the habits are built. Think about the things that you've done at a young age, the habits that you've built. You probably, the ones you can think about, the one you've been probably been, you've probably been through them all the time. Every day you have similar habits. And now you just need to make sure they're the right habits. So... From this podcast, at least today's podcast, what I want you guys to think about is, again, skincare. Can you create a more efficient skincare routine? And, uh, and uh, there's plenty of products out there that are cheap, so you guys can do this, no problem. And on top of that, is there any other habits that you guys do in, on a day-to-day -day basis 
that you can change to make yourself more efficient, to increase productivity, to increase, you know, the the betterment that you can achieve. You know, I think we all need to think about this, and this is something that I try and think about and reflect uh, on a day-to-day basis. So I hope this guys, I hope this helped you guys. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you guys for listening.